Hello, this is a tutorial for my 8th grade Android programming class. Uh, in the first video, we downloaded the Simple Paint demo program. And uh, from my GitHub page, if you haven't watched the first video and you're here, you may want to take a look at video one uh, just to obtain this project and get it running because we're going to be working with this basic template. This video has a pretty clear purpose. We're going to initialize the action bar and add a couple of icons. So, here I am uh, in my project, okay, and if we take a look inside of mainactivity.java, we have a method on create options menu. Now this menu is, uh, this is what creates uh, the items, elements within the action bar. And we are creating those elements from an XML file in the menu directory, and that XML file is called activity main. So uh, if you look over here, once again, inside of the res directory, I have a menu folder, and there's activity main. So I'm going to jump over here to activity main, and uh, this is our XML file. So uh, I'm going to grab a resource here, and this resource is at developer.android.com slash guide slash topics slash UI slash menus.html and it's got a, a nice example here of an XML file with two items that have icons that are set up. So I'm going to copy just the two item nodes here. I'll choose copy, the item elements I guess. And uh, May I have your attention please? All students we're going to take this and we're going to put it into um, our Android application inside of Activity Main. So I'm just going to highlight the one item that's there and I'm going to paste it. Okay. Um, one of the hazards of working in a public school system is a lot of times the announcements do come on and I try to pause the videos when that happens. Um, okay, so I've got two items that are set up here, and we've got, they both got individual IDs, they've both got an icon, and they both got a title. I'm going to make these a little bit, uh, I'm going to make them consistent for, for my program. I'm going to call this ID Plus, just because that's what I named the icon all, uh, previous to recording here. The drawable, the icon itself is Plus, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to call the, the title is going to be String, and then Plus. That'll work. And then for the Android ID, I'm going to call it, uh, we'll call this undo. And we'll use this icon to clear the screen. We'll use the first icon to change the color of the paint. The drawable, I will call it undo. And for the title, we'll have a string resource, and we'll refer to that as undo. Okay, so our activity main should have these two items set up like that. And right now we're getting a bunch of errors down here indicating, wait a minute, I can't, you know, the program can't find any of this stuff. So let's take it one piece at a time. We're going to set up the icon first for, let's go ahead and set up the plus icon and the undo icon. A good resource for this is if you go to developer.android.com slash design slash download slash index.html, right there, the action bar pack, these are standard consistent icons that work well in an Android action bar and look nice when sort of taken in the context of, you know, the Android platform, right? Uh, if you, you can download this action bar icon pack, and these actions, these icons have pretty clear purposes. I'm going to use the icons that I use for this. Uh, may not be the best icon for the job, but they work. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and stick with. I'm just going to pick a couple icons from this pack for this uh, demo activity. If you download that, all right, you're going to get a whole bunch of stock icons here, all right. And what I've done is I've just copied two of them into my uh, project folder, res drawable hyphen h d p i. This is where we're going to keep our graphics for the project, okay? And uh, I just renamed these two plus.png and undo.png. And when you're working with graphics um, within Android, it's important we keep everything lowercase. 
uppercase letters uh, tend to throw errors. So everything's lowercase, no spaces, nothing too crazy. Uh, they're just standard portable network graphics there. And those are the two that I'm just going to throw up in my action bar. Okay, so I've got a my resources here. I've got my two graphics ready to go. And that then matches, okay, the icon is at drawable plus and at drawable undo are now squared away. So now we need to get the title set up and we're going to go to the string resource and we're going to set up plus and we're going to set up undo there. So under res, I'm going to go to the values folder, which is over here. And that contains our strings.xml, which is a very important file. And I'm going to copy the last line. And I'm going to paste it twice, and we're going to modify it. So the first, we're going to create a string here, and it's going to be called plus to match our XML file. And I'm going to create a string resource here, and I'm going to call it undo, right? And for this, for the plus, I'm going to write something you know like uh, change the color. And for undo, I'm just going to write something descriptive like clear the canvas. All right. And by creating that now, we've resolved all of this. I have an icon that matches, and I have a string resource that matches. Okay. So now our layout is set up. Okay. Um, so let's go back to main activity now and let's include another important piece. This on create options menu. And you know, if I run the activity, and I'll go ahead and I'll just run it right now, we now have our. After rerunning that, I just paused the video. Well, you can see up here I've got my plus icon sitting on the top. And then our overflow here indicates our string resource clear the canvas. Now if you wanted to show the plus and the other icon up here at the same time and you know that there's going to be room because maybe you've only got you only have two options, uh, a pretty easy thing to do in your activity main is instead of indicating okay show this if room, we can change if room to always and just by referencing this through oh wait no that's fine. Let's actually uh, take this show as action here which is absent from our second item and let's drop it down here. Okay, and it should now show both items. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this and I'm going to rerun the application. And by rerunning the application, uh, by adding that uh, show as action parameter there, you can see now it shows both icons up at the very top. Now these icons don't do anything yet. So we need to give them sort of a hook, uh, something that when we click the icon, we have a place that we can sort of put code that uh, is executed. So let's go to the main activity now. And underneath, where it says on create options menu, I'm going to go to the same website where we got our XML file, the guide topics UI menus.html. And if we scroll down a little bit further, we have an example of a method called on options item selected. Now this is what happens when you actually click. And it includes a simple switch statement. And this basically indicates which, you know, when you click something that has an ID that matches, well, what code are you going to execute? All right. So I'm going to take, and here's what um, I'm going to ask my class to do. Grab this entire method right here. All right. And you're going to copy it. And we're going to drop it into our Eclipse project right underneath on Create Options menu. Um, be sure it's a good place to put a method. And that's something we've talked about. And we're going to get a lot of red underlines. The shortcut to resolve, for example, the menu item class has not been imported. The quick and easy way to take care of that is Control Shift O in Eclipse. It's going to organize our imports and it's going to import the menu item class for us. And now we've got some unrecognized things. Well, this is calling a, 
method called new game that we don't have anything to do with right now. So I'm going to erase those. All right. And show help is a method that we do not have in this project. So I'm going to erase show help. And so what I have now is I have an on options item selected method. All right. Where we're going to say, okay, well, what's the first ID in our XML class? And that would be plus. So if the plus item is selected, and you can see it turns blue, it recognizes that, what are we going to do? Right now, nothing. And the second item in our XML is called undo, that undo icon. And once again, I'm going to put here, nothing. So nothing happens, but at the same time, if I wanted to put some code into these two spots, it would execute when the user clicks these two icons. So at the end of this video, the user should have this particular template set up with two items on the action bar. And we should have our method on options item selected set up so that it recognizes the plus icon and the undo icon. In the next video, we will set it up so that the plus item changes the color of the paint and the undo item. Well, we're going to leave undo alone for a little while, I think. So anyway, thank you for watching, and in the next video, we'll, we'll get in and we'll change the color of the paint. Thank you for watching.